Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Alex, and I bet you're wondering what's in my cup. What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to today's video. Now it is indeed Friday, but it's not a five minute Friday, more of a 10 minute Friday. I'm gonna show you how to do that comic book freeze frame effect. Now, I'm gonna stick with that comic book aesthetic for this video because it's fun, it's interesting, it makes for a cool little tutorial, but you don't have to. You can use this for sort of product things as well and stick with just a blurred background. There's actually a ton of different things you can use this for. It's cool for vlogs, like if you were going to get coffee, you can do the audits, you can do introductions, so if you've got someone turning up, you can introduce them, put some stats on there. There's loads and loads of different uses for this real simple, cool masking effect. Now, everything I'm gonna show you, as always, is available in the free version, so let's boot open DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the Edit tab, and as you can see, I've already got my clip set up. Now the first thing you need to do is to find the frame you want to use for your freeze frame. Now the easiest way to do this is to use your right and left arrow keys. You can skim through frame by frame to find the frame you want. So you want to find one that A has the pose that you want and then also is nice and sharp without too much motion blur. So this frame here looks good to me. And then what we're going to do is just zoom into our timeline a little bit. And we need to make a cut to our clip here. So I'm just going to use Control and B. We're gonna move forward one frame, again, just using the right arrow key. We can do another cut, so Control and B again, like so. So we've got the first part of our clip, the second part here, and then a single frame in the middle. We can just move our second part out of the way for now, because you don't need it just yet. Click on your single frame in the middle, right click on it, change clip speed, and then you can just tick this freeze frame tick box and click change. So now if we lengthen this out, you can see we've got a frozen single frame of that frame we wanted. Now you can make this as long or as short as you like and you can come back and amend it later so it's not too important just yet. Just get it there, ready to go. Now we can just cut our character out. So give your freeze frame a click and then head into the color tab. Now that we're in the color tab, we just need to make sure that we're on the freeze frame. So it should be the middle one, but if you wanna double check, just give it a click and then hit play, and we can see there's no movement, so we're happy we're on the correct clip. And then open up your nodes by clicking on nodes in the top right hand corner, right click in an empty space, and then just add an alpha output. And then all you need to do is just click on this little blue square here and drag it down to the little blue circle down in the bottom right. Now adding an alpha output just means that we get transparency when we start using the windows to cut out our character. Then what we need to do is click on this icon here, which is your window, and then you wanna select the pen tool. And then we need to cut out our character. Now a few tips for you. You can use your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. And then you can also just click your middle mouse button or your scroll wheel, whichever it may be, to move and drag around. So you can stay zoomed in and move around. Now what I like to do is just give it a click outside of the frame and then we can start cutting out. Now if you've never used a pen tool before, really simple, you just click to add points when you sort of change in direction. But you can also, if you click and hold your mouse and drag, you can also do curves. Now you don't need to be too accurate with this because we're doing a comic book style effect it doesn't need to be super neat and tidy, not like you would if you're doing a realistic effect. So you can just go through it relatively quickly. I'm just gonna speed through this now. Once you're done, you just wanna connect your end point to your start point to finish that little mask, like so. And you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, if you come down to this little icon here underneath your preview, click the drop down, change that to off, you can actually see the cut itself without the power window lines on it. So you can actually see how well you've done. It's a bit rough at the moment. So we're just going to soften that a little bit. Again, within the window tool, you should see this 
on the right hand side you've got softness you've got soft one i just like to change soft one to one and that just smooths it out a little bit if you turn your power window back on like so you can make any adjustments to this you want you can move points you can redo them you can add them just play with it until you're completely happy it doesn't need to be a 100 percent perfect once we are satisfied we can head back into the edit tab now that black background is actually clear it's see-through it's transparent because we added that alpha output so we can start to put cool backgrounds underneath it now so what i'm going to do grab jeff move him up to our video track number two and then i'm going to grab a background so i've got a blue abstract comic book background here i found this on google you can just search for free pngs or jpegs anything will work drag it underneath and there you go so now we've got a freeze frame with a cool comic book style background now that on its own is pretty good it works really well really simple to do won't take you very long once you get into the swing of things and there you go now because it's comic book i find it works better if you add a little bit of movement or motion to it so i'm going to do that using a dynamic zoom because it's really easy to do i'm going to give jeff a click i'm going to turn on the dynamic zoom within the inspector I'm going to change my dynamic zoom ease. You can just have a play, pick whichever ones you want. I generally go with ease in and out. And then underneath our preview, click on this little drop down here, select dynamic zoom. And then the green box is your starting point. The red box is your end point. So I'd want it to start off sort of full screen as it is normal. And then just to slowly zoom a little bit, something like that. We'll give that a click and we can hit play to see how it looks. And there you go. It's just this real subtle movement of Jeff moving within the frame. You can do that with the background as well if you want. So you've got one moving one way, one moving another. Just have a play with it until you're completely happy with how it looks. Now we're going to move Jeff up another track here. And I'm going to grab this sort of splodge PNG, which I found. Drag that down here. And as you can see, because it's the alpha output, we can start to build up elements behind Jeff. Or, if we wanted to, we could start to build things up in front of him as well. So we can put a splodge down here maybe, we can add some text and we can start to build up loads of different elements to give us the effect that we want. Quick tip for you, which I like to play around with, let me just delete this background. And what I'm going to do is give Jeff a click, hold the Alt key on my keyboard, drag it down to track one, my background essentially, like so. And then we're gonna head back into the color tab. Now, if you click on timeline, you should see this timeline here. That's the same timeline as you see within the edit tab. We need to select this bottom one here, which we know is Jeff. The one we've just created is at the bottom of all the different tracks. And rather than selecting Jeff, we wanna invert that and select the background. So we have the actual background, but it's free from Jeff himself. So what we're going to do is just click on this little icon down here within the power window to invert the selection. And then we've got our original background back. We'll shoot into edit. And as you can see, we've got our original background, but we can just move it independently of Jeff. And we can move him around as well as much as we like. The only thing you have to bear in mind, obviously, because you've cut him out, you do get this black sort of empty space where he was but that's when you could use a png or some sort of additional splodge or effect you can just fill that in like so and you've got this real dynamic funky looking comic book style effect now one very last quick effect you can apply to really sell the comic book style is if you open up the effects library open up the toolbox go to open effects scroll down to the resolve fx stylized area and then grab abstraction drag that onto your footage and you'll get this sort of faded comic book style effect give your clip a click open up the inspector go to the open effects tab and then within abstraction you can change some of the settings now I found one which works quite well. I'm just going to get rid of all of this blur because I don't need it in the minute. So I'm just going to drag everything to the left. 
and then in this draw edge control I'm just going to increase the edge control and increase the threshold a little bit until I get something like that. It still looks recognizable like the original footage but we've got a nice crisp sort of black edge around the outsides giving it more of a comic book look. But feel free, have a play with all of the different options in there to get it looking exactly as you want it. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. If you are really enjoying the channel, why not consider taking a look at my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can buy me a coffee for $3 or sign up to become a monthly member as well. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Until next time, see ya. Goodbye, everyone. Hmm. Ah. ah, wrong button.